of all the events in gymnastics where athletes train nearly all their lives. Come on, set it up. Steven Nedarosic needed only one. This is the one that I've done solely for the past seven years and uh, proudly. <laughs> the pommel horse making him a medal winning Olympian in Paris, realizing a lifelong dream. Can you even put into words what it was like knowing you made the team? I mean, I mean, honestly, the word is speechless, <laughs> right? This was pre-Olympics, Stephen. We talked to him at Evo in Sarasota. That's his home gym just days before he left for Paris with no idea what was in store. I mean, I'm just so honored and excited. There you go. The pommel horse has been the focus for this Massachusetts native since competing at Penn State and after college winning U.S. championships on pommel horse four years in a row. But he always had the Olympics in sight. It's going to be sort of surreal knowing that in that one village is thousands of athletes that are, you know have made their dreams come true by being there. All to become one of the athletes everyone is talking about. Team USA's pommel horse specialist. I'm ready to get out there and show the world what I can do. And did he ever dubbed a Clark Kent lookalike with a Superman moment. When the weight of winning a team medal was on his shoulders, he nailed his sole purpose on the team. His pommel horse performance securing Team USA's bronze medal, ending the team's 16 year streak without a win. And Americans can't seem to get enough of him, partly because of what's become his iconic look. Stephen was diagnosed, he said, with strabismus, or being cross-eyed, hence the glasses that have made a statement. But it's also his self-proclaimed quirky, nerdy self that's winning over hearts. I mean, I'm just a normal guy. I'm kind of like that sort of nerdy guy that was in your math class. I love chess. I love Rubik's Cubes. I, I'm an electrical engineer, right? Um, there's a certain stigma that comes with being a horse guy, and it's that you're kind of quirky, kind of nerdy. Usually they go into engineering. Um, I just want people to know, like, I'm just a regular dude who's managed to find his talent on pommel horse and has gone very far with it. He says he'll likely lean yeah, on that electrical I, I engineering degree in the future. The but for now, he says he has no plans of slowing down in the sport. That's putting him, his team, and his best event Good, under team. the best light.